I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Education Report. The Program for International Student Assessment, or PISA, is a two-hour test that compares the performance of 15-year-olds. In the latest test, the countries with the best readers were South Korea and Finland. But students in Shanghai, China, scored the highest of all in reading, mathematics, and science. The next strongest results were in Hong Kong, Singapore, Canada, New Zealand, and Japan. In all, around half a million students in more than 70 economies took the test in 2009. The test has been given every three years since 2000. Shanghai took part for the first time in 2009. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development released the results. Andreas Schleicher is director of the Education Indicators and Analysis Division at the OECD. He says, Asian countries value education more than other countries. They have given education a priority. Every child, every teacher, every parent knows that education is the gateway to success. Mr. Schleicher says other education systems can learn from Shanghai. For example, he says education spending in the province has increased including teacher pay and training. And administrators are putting teachers into challenging classroom situations to make them better at their jobs. In the PISA scoring system, Shanghai scored 600 in math. By comparison, the United States scored 487. Shanghai's reading average was 556. American 15-year-olds scored 500, the same as in Iceland and Poland. In science, Finland was second behind Shanghai. The United States was 23rd. Education Secretary Arne Duncan says the results show an urgent need for Americans to do more to remain competitive in the world economy. He points out that the United States has fallen from first to ninth place in college graduation rates because of gains by other countries. Mr. Schleicher says international testing experts have investigated and confirmed the Shanghai scores. He says the piece of results are not representative of all of China. But he also says they dispute the common belief that Chinese education is centered on repetition and memorization. 25% of the Shanghai students showed advanced thinking skills to solve difficult math problems. The OECD average was 3%. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.